Kathy. Hello, Jeanette. It's been two weeks. We haven't talked in a while. <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks. I know. I know. It's amazing. Yeah. We just came off of a holiday, which was phenomenal. A little spring I'm very break. for that time and appreciative of that time. <laughs> so uh, what did you do on your spring break, Kathy? Well, um, the first week was all stuff. And then the second week we took a road trip because we've been oh. cooped up for two and a half years. And now that the restrictions have lifted a little bit, we took a little road trip. Um, I will tell you, going up the Coquihalla for the first time since seeing all the roads that the bridges, for those of you that may not know right. what the Coquihalla is, um, we had huge forest fires last year, and then we had major rain that washed the, the highway away and bridges away um, right. and homes away. Um, it was astonishing, absolutely astonishing to see how much um, devastation there was for people. But I tell you, the communities all pulled together. And um, we went through Merritt, uh, the town, there's still 600 people without a home. So wow. I dropped off some donation items um, mm -hmm. for those people. And um, as we were passing through and um, just piles and piles of dirt because there's the river overflowed and right. flooded the whole city. And, um, there's one farmer, he's lost three quarters of his farm, beautiful farm that he's worked his tail off getting, you know, over the years. And his house would have been gone too if he hadn't built the house on a, a, mm -hmm. a, um, a raised dirt, mm -hmm. right? Um, but all around him, his three quarters of his, I don't know how many acres, like lots and lots of acreage, totally gone. And massive piles of trees in the middle of the river that were just ripped right out of the shore. But what I found amazing um, was just how the community pulled together to help one another. Mm -hmm. And they were still working on things, power washing the schools to open them up because mm -hmm. some of the schools were damaged quite severely. And um, um, my sister who works there um, was hosting two other elementary schools within her elementary school because they were up on a hill and not damaged. So they've been rotating schedules and oh, wow. having three different staffs in one building. It's been very tight corners, but we were, you know, talking to some of the volunteers that were helping and washing and power washing everything away to get ready for um, this week for reopening. And it's been, yeah, it was really quite. Oh, that was four months cool. ago. Yeah. When we think about it, that was four months ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. And I, I went around and I thanked some of the neighbors. My sister lives in a little community of about 41 people. And they all pitched in, they lost power for a week during that time. And there was no roads to get out because the road was washed away. And um, um, I, you know, I just said, thanks, you know, thanks for taking care of my sister. She means the world to me. And I really appreciate you and all of your help and like my sister had a mini tornado that ripped half of her barn roof off and there was some neighbors there helping and putting that back together and you know there are so many good people out there and I am so grateful for the community that my sister lives in and the community that has supported one another in their times of need mm -hmm. um, it's just a truly truly special thing to witness and then I went to Kamloops and met with a good friend of mine we've never lived in the same city but we've been like best friends since grade oh. nine. Oh, beautiful um, we, we met at uh at a uh, camp music camp of course when we yes. were you know grade nine grade 10 grade eight grade nine I don't know something like that anyway it was just such a blessing to meet and have dinner with them and just reminisce you know like you have we all have special people that come in our lives and they come and they go and they come and they go but i am just so blessed to have her friendship all these years i won't it's a long time <laughs> it's a long time and never lived in the same city jeanette never lived wow. in the same city, you know That's beautiful. Just that like, just, like sisters. yeah that just goes to show you distance is nothing Distance really is nothing when there is a connection, that human connection, that love connection, kindness connection. The distance is, you can put your tape measure away because you're never going to, you know, measure it at all. That's beautiful, Kathy. That's, yeah. uh, and, and to know she's so close, she's so close and that how you were able to appreciate the journey on the way up.
yeah. um, of what was happening because we all we all hear mainstream media shows us certain things and shows it you know shows us the disasters but they don't show us the good stuff and that's yeah. where each one of us are responsible for making sure that we are sharing that good stuff. I call it boots on the ground. I was having um, a conversation with somebody the other day and I said, you know, something that the big, let's say high corporations and governments don't realize is just how much humanity has connected like this. Yeah. Like I've gone into people's homes and businesses around the world that I would never have gone into to, uh, to learn about them and have just, those I call it boots on the ground conversations with what's going on in their neck of the woods and it's and it's been so refreshing to hear solid truth of gratitude if that makes absolutely. sense absolutely yeah. absolutely it's it's actually been a gift to us for the last two and a half years yeah. to find a different way of communicating and connecting as you say yeah. and um you know I've met we've both met some pretty incredible people in the last two and a half years oh. I get and, tingles. and we continue to do so. And I don't think we would have if we had no, not at all. been the normal. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. What have you been up to the last couple of weeks? You've been well, um, today I'm really grateful, uh, Kathy. Um, my daughter-in-law, I'm not married to my stepson's um, um, father, not for um, a while, but my stepchildren are still involved in my life because I have four um, beautiful grandchildren. And my oldest uh, daughter in law was in for open heart surgery um, mm. today at St. Paul's Hospital. And um, I was kind of the conduit with my um, oldest stepson, Rob, and having those conversations. And um, she needed a special bra and uh, because of for her surgery, so it doesn't hurt her chest. And, yeah. um, um, he was like, where do I go? Where do I go? So there's many calls today about go to Diane's, try Victoria's Secret, because she he had to stay within 20 minutes of St. Paul's in case something uh, went, you know, went awry. And just so grateful that I put a post out on social media saying, my daughter-in-law is going in for surgery. Can you pray for my family, their family, the doctors, the staff, and for, for healing? And there's about 120 of my friends just kind of popped up and um, and Aww. making sure that they're showing showing up. And it was just it was beautiful. And rolling into tomorrow is April Fools and no fooling that eight years ago, I, you know, got my name officially from my company, MYBC. Consultant. Um, and it's just, again, amazing the the people that I've served um, out there, the, the connections that I've made the stick to itness for the last two and a half years yeah, yeah. really you know really grateful just yeah. so so grateful well that's and how you and i met too is through your through your new business of eight years yeah. eight year anniversary is so exciting magic number so eight. i'm so grateful for you for going into business because i would never have met you Yay. oh my gosh just just so much and for like today you know what i was saying the other day Kathy, the only job out there that you can get wrong on almost a daily basis and not lose your job is the weatherman. I am <laughs> deleting the weather app off my phone. It's almost becoming like the new mainstream media is that I play into what the weather app is telling me. <laughs> and I go, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and that because it said it's going to rain. It's going to be outside. It's like, Oh my gosh, it's been beautiful. I'm taking that app off. So I'm going to be grateful for looking out my window and just looking at the clouds because yeah. that's the true weatherman. You can't predict the weather and weather changes is like that, you know? <laughs> I so, think that's funny. That's very, very funny. <laughs> oh, you know, when it's dead center in my phone and it's like, okay, I'm going to hit on, oh, okay. And you, you kind of plan your life. You know, you were mentioning you're going to be you doing do, a garage yeah. sale yeah. next weekend at your home, and you you kind of do the who please, 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 you know, Mister Weatherman, keep yeah. keep the you know the sunshine. And realistically, like you said, you you have no control of it, and what we do have control of it is going. Oh, thank you for the roof over my head that the rain is not falling on my head. Yeah, and I'm and, and we also and have the we also have the power to choose how we take those moments too yes. right yes we, we have the power to be in control of that how yes. how are you how we deal the hand we're dealt right yeah yeah so gotcha. it's it's a beautiful day 
you are my beautiful friend and to all of our friends watching oh my goodness thank you we truly appreciate oh. you all yeah oh, and um i'm praying for your daughter-in-law thank you that thank she will you. heal quickly yeah. yes yes so you know what um we'll do five again because i think the world because we we're we're gonna get our hands nice and warm we're gonna do our half a heart half a heart in front of our hearts up at five times oh we're gonna do six because i'm sending out an extra one for my daughter-in-law okay one two three four five six kindness up to the world and an extra one for healing for my daughter-in-law yes absolutely thank you everybody for watching tonight if you're watching the replay um take a look we'll see you next week and um gratitude to you all bye for now bye everybody